Hey everybody, Chef Marty Mangiello here again at the United States Presidential Culinary Museum. And on this episode of Inside the President's Cabinet, we're gonna take a look at the Lincoln's two sets of China. Well, one of the coolest things uh, we enjoy pointing out on our tours here is the fact that the Lincolns have two sets of China, which not everybody was always thrilled about. And eventually we will see in the United States that um, buying sets of China for presidents and first ladies will end with a new law. And often people will mention, yeah, the Lincolns bought a set of China for each term that he was in. And the Polks only served one term and they had two sets of China. It's outrageous. So we will see a law after President Johnson that puts an end to that. If you want a set of China, you can pay for it yourself, is what they say. But here we do have the two sets of the Lincoln China. And the one is often called the purple China and the other we call the buff. So these are both beautiful sets, although people uh, do not necessarily like the purple. And society in Washington starts to bash at the table and constituents and colleagues are reporting that we are getting bashed by the China. Where did she get this color? Mary Todd actually saw this China on one of her famous shopping trips to New York and asked the gentleman from Limoges, France, right outside of Paris, this purple China, sir, I've never seen the pigment attached to ceramic. How are you doing this? This pigment is, is not a controlled color. You're doing this in America where you can get away with it and violate the laws of Europe because you would be imprisoned if you had this color. How are you doing this? Well, uh, Billy, uh, a different name for you, madame. Uh, William in English, I think. Oh, William. Yes, uh, he invented this synthetic color and attached it to ceramic. And it is all of the rage of Europe. Would you like to put the uh, order in for this China for your household? She says, for my household, I would. Fill him out a check from the Department of the Treasury right now for a complete set. I'd like to order over 200 pieces of this. The man is looking down at the check register upside down and notices that it says the United States Department of the Treasury. And he says to Mary Todd Lincoln, uh, Madame, it takes 40 artisans in a room to doing one plate all week, to do one plate by Friday. How much do you want to order? Well, everything that we would need, the cereal bowls and the, the uh, cups for drinking coffee and saucers, and of course a bread plate would be nice, and the main course plates, and you know, all of that. And his eyes kind of look like pool balls, guys. And the only people who ever had this color were the clergy or royalty. And if you were caught wearing it anywhere in Europe, you would often be stopped in the street and asked, um, do you have any papers with you to have that on? We quickly switched this China to the Lincoln second term China to try to diffuse a lot of this angst in the White House. And not everybody disliked it, but there were enough who have written about they did not appreciate this woman showcasing royalty on the most famous table in American history. And they were not enthused about it. Thank you guys so much for joining us for another episode of Inside the President's Cabinet here at the United States Presidential Culinary Museum. See you next time.